Hi friends, and thanks for joining me today to learn the long tail cast on. Let's get to it. First, let's talk about how long our tail needs to be. It's a long tail cast on, and that's because you are using your tail as part of the cast on. So you need it to be at least three times as long as the width of your cast on needs to be. Uh, and then you need a little extra after that. Um, if your scarf, let's say, is four inches wide, you need three times that length for your tail, so 12 inches, plus you need extra. Um, when you are knitting, when you're casting on a large number of stitches, the worst thing is running out of tail. So extra is always better. Now, let's get started on this. We've ha we have our tail. Now, most people like to start this with a slip knot. I'll show you how to do that. You have our working yarn over here. Our tail comes up and over, around and makes an X. Then that tail comes up through the bottom. Pull it nice and tight. And this, I like making my slip knot this way because it gives me my tail to um, pull this tight. Sometimes that comes in handy, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I'm actually going to show you the way that I like to start my long tail cast on. It is not with a slip stitch, or I'm sorry, a slip knot. There's nothing wrong with a slip knot. I just have found that often I like my tension a little better when I do it this way. So to do it my way, I need my tail toward me, my working yarn away from me, thumb and pointer, pinch, go under, bring those two strands over my palm and wrap my fingers around. Now I have a triangle here and I'll be making a bit of a slingshot with this. Now, uh, if you were using the slip knot, it would be here on your needle ready to go and you jump into the next step. The way I'm going to do this is, I have it straight across here, I bring my needle up and around and underneath. I pull up just a little bit and spin it around. That's all there is to it. I'm going to hang on to this so I don't lose it. So either you have the way I just did it or you have your slip knot here. Now let's get started on this cast on. So I'm hanging on to it, I'm going to pull this down a bit so I have a a V between my tail and my working yarn. I'm going to bring my point of my needle toward me down and underneath that strand and back up through the loop that my thumb makes. Then I'm going to come to the right with the tip of the needle and gather up the working yarn around my index finger. Bring it back down through the loop where you came and then let go snug that up and there you have it. That's all there is to this cast on. Let me show you again. I'm set with my slingshot here. I bring the needle toward me, the tip of the needle toward me, under and up through. I kind of trace my thumb up, go around, gather up that yarn, bring it back through the loop, let go and tighten with my thumb. Again, toward me, under, up, through the middle of that loop, around the working yarn, through the loop, let go, snug it up, down, up, under, around, bring it back through, snug it up, down, up, under, up, through, around, back, down, through, release, snug it up, under, up, through, around, pull it back through, let go, snug it up. And that's it. You will cast on however many stitches you need according to your pattern. Remember this first uh, stitch always counts as a stitch. It has this lovely edge. Uh, it looks really nice with a standard bind off as well. They pair well. On the wrong side here, you'll see our pearl bumps. And that's really all there is to the long tail cast on. So thank you so much for joining me today. I think you will find this really handy in your knitting, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy knitting. Bye.